second race of the day. This another overnight or non-stakes race for two-year-old trotters that are Illinois bred. Win, place, show, and exact a wagering are offered. Eric Ledford drives the two. Track is fast, five minutes to post. Let's meet the starters for the second. Number one, Nick's in the hunt, owned by Fred Potts, Lyle Skurlock, and Brett Fogel of Illinois, trained and driven by John David Finn of Newton. Number two, Party Class, is owned by Fred Wicker of Beecher City, Illinois, trained by Ronnie Hood with Eric Ledford to drive. Number three, Pepper Relish, owned by Dick Cooley's Tanamira Farms Limited Liability Corporation of Felton, Delaware, trained by Irvin Miller with Andy Miller in the bike. Number four, Call Me Lucky Seven, owned by Clarence Parker, of Clayton, Illinois, by William Mowen of Mount Sterling, trained by Clarence Parker. Dale Heitman is up. Number five, Just Flip It, owned by Bill and Brenda Langdon of Tams, trained by Candy Schooley, the driver, Tim Tetrick. Number six is Heather Dune, owned by Katie Duncan of Godfrey, trained by John Cisna. The driver is Mike Rogers. And number seven, Miss Bergemeister, owned by Roy Warnick of Macon, trained by Irvin Miller. And Irvin will also be the driver. Post time in four minutes second event. They're off and trotting. Just Flip It goes out for the lead. Party Class is there toward the inside. Call Me Lucky 7 gets away third. Miss Bergemeister on the far outside is fourth, followed by Nix in the hunt. And then Pepper Relish in between horses, who's seven lengths off the early lead. Heather Dune trails, but is right there, as everyone stays on stride so far through the opening eighth mile. Just flip it. Leads it by a length and a half. Party class will get a good trip in second. Call Me Lucky 7 is third. And then Miss Bergemeister, Pepper Relish, Nick's in the hunt, and Heather Dune. Racing past the quarter mile mark, just flip it. Is there in 32 and two-fifth seconds. Party Class is racing in second, and now there goes Party Class, taking to the outside to challenge for the lead. Margin of three more back to Call Me Lucky 7, and here comes Pepper Relish moving up on the outside. The favorite, Pepper Relish, is now third. Party Class has taken the lead by a length, but not for long, because there goes Pepper Relish, and Call Me Lucky 7 is also moving up on the outside in the second. Pepper Relish takes over the lead by two. Call Me Lucky 7 is now in the second position. Followed by Party Class, Miss Bergemeister on the outside. Just Flip It gets the shuffle back to fifth. The half in 103 and one. Gap of seven more lengths to Nix in the hunt. And Heather Dune continues to trail at the entry to the far turn. Pepper Relish is on the lead by a length and a half. Call Me Lucky 7 is parked second by a neck. Party Class is third toward the rail. Then Miss Bergemeister outside of Just Flip It, who's four lengths off the lead. Better than 20 more back to Nix in the hunt and Heather Dune, who just broke stride. At the three quarters, Pepper Relish on a two-length lead to Call Me Lucky 7. Three quarters, 133 and 3. Party class is third toward the rail. Miss Bergemeister angles toward the center of the track in fourth. Just flip it, six lengths off the lead in fifth. Moving by the eighth pole. They're being led by Pepper Relish on a widening four-length lead now to Party Class, Miss Bergemeister, and Just Flip It, then Call Me Lucky 7. Miss Bergemeister goes to second, but Pepper Relish is well in front of Miss Bergemeister, and Pepper Relish cruises on home for the win. Pepper Relish wins it by six. Miss Bergemeister was second, and Just Flip It third in 202 and three-fifths. It's the official winner, number three, Pepper Relish, with Andy Miller driving. This two-year-old colt gives Armbro Charger his second winner of the day, bred by Phil Rietveld of Crete, Illinois, owned by Dick Cooley's Tanamira Farms Limited Liability Corporation of Felton, Delaware, trained by Irvin Miller and driven by his brother Andy. And if you're wondering how an owner from Delaware gets hooked up with a trainer from Illinois, Dick Cooley, who owns Tanamira Farms, bought a horse a number of years ago from trainer Irvin Miller. And after he bought the horse, he told Irv, he said, I like your work. I'd like to get more involved in Illinois. And that's just what Dick Cooley has done.